Hey everyone, welcome to Tuesday with Luther. Today we are going to be talking about Luther's sermon on Palm Sunday. His um, main thoughts from the text. Now it's amazing, in, um, in the House Apostles, Luther says this, This is the reason why Christ entered Jerusalem as he did, without worldly pomp, meekly riding on a donkey. Thereby he not only wanted to fulfill the words of the prophet, but also to point out the manner and character of his kingdom so that we may never be deluded into thinking that he came to earth to help us become rich and heap up treasure, when actually he came so that we might be delivered from sin, death, and the devil, and become truly rich in the life beyond. To sum up, this then was his true purpose in coming to earth, his kingdom's real nature and power and fruit, namely, that we may one day escape this wretched, mortal, decaying existence and enter that happy, glorious, eternal life beyond. <laughs> So Luther's main point with Palm Sunday as we meditate on, on Jesus riding into Jerusalem is that Jesus rides on into Jerusalem on a beast of burden on a donkey, not on a noble steed to signify, you know, a pomp and circumstance. He rides in on a donkey, a, an animal that does work because Jesus was coming to do the work of our salvation. Not, as Luther says, to give us some temporal blessings, to have earthly treasures and to have this grand kingdom on this earth, but instead he came that we may inherit an eternal kingdom, the eternal kingdom of his Father, that we may be recipients of his inheritance, that we may have eternal life and salvation, deliverance from sin, death, world, and the devil. That's why Jesus rode into Jerusalem. And he is the, the Savior. They shouted their loud hosannas to the son of David. Save us now, Lord, is what they cried out. Now those Jews back then, you know, uh, were thinking he's going to come and kick Rome out and deliver us back to our, no, you know, our, our original state. We're going to have the nation of Israel back. And we go, oh, those silly Jews, why would they think that? But we do the same thing today. When we say save us now, Lord... Are we really talking about deliverance from death, devil, and sin? Or are we talking about saving us from a life that's not real comfortable for us? I mean, who wouldn't want $20 billion, you know, tax-free given to us? Who wouldn't want perfect health, a perfect life, a, a perfect family, a perfect house, uh, you know, everything we want? Deliverance from a life we don't want to a life we do want right now. I mean, no one wants to wait for heaven. We want it here on earth. We want it right now. But Jesus didn't come to give us heaven on earth. He came to give us heaven itself, to bring heaven to us. He entered into this realm to do the work of our salvation. Because what did those Jews cry out a few days later? Crucify him. So it's funny when we think about it. Save us now. He obliged. He said, I will. I'll die on the cross for you. I'll save you. And he does the same for us. We shout out, save us now, crucify him, and he saves us. And his blood is upon us. His blood is upon us that we may be saved. So what's the point of Palm Sunday? Is that Jesus rides on into Jerusalem to do the work of our salvation. To die on the cross so that we may be saved. Seems simple. We hear it every single year. But it's something we need to hear every single year. It's something we need to receive every single year. It's something we have to remember that in this life, no matter how deep down in the pit we are, no matter how dark the cave may be, no matter how dirty and filthy the sewer may be in our life, Jesus comes and dwells among us in it. So that he may cleanse us, he may forgive us, he may save us and deliver us unto himself in life eternal. God bless you all. I hope to see everybody on Palm Sunday so you can receive the gifts that Christ purchased for you by riding into Jerusalem, dying on the cross, and rising from the grave on the third day. God bless y'all.